any of you ladies out there want to play with my fuck stick? Huh? Yes, no, maybe so, maybe later. No? Ah, well, what a bunch of pussies. Bad Santa is probably one of the most underrated Christmas movies ever made. Okay? Yes, I said it. I really, really enjoy this movie. Okay? If not for its black comedy humor, I just love it because it's fucking hilarious as shit. Okay? And if you don't laugh at most of this stuff, then you're not going to be a fan of this movie. Trust me, because this is a like raunchy ass movie. If you ain't never even seen it, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> well, one, it's a hilarious movie. Two, it's a Christmas movie. Three, it's a very fucking badass Christmas movie. I think I like this movie more than I do Elf. There you go, I said it. <laughs> and I do believe they both came out the same year. Or Elf the year after. But yeah anyways plot of this movie is Billy Bob Thornton and his little person friend um, are basically thieves and what they do is they use the Santa Claus gimmick that goes to every mall every different year well not go to every mall but the Santas that are at every mall every year he gets a job there and while he's working the days kind of working the days because he's always drunk um, with the kids and the families, um, the little midget dude, or a little person friend, cases the mall and basically sneaks in before the mall closes and uh, disguises himself as something to hide himself from the security and whatever. And once they start setting the alarm, and the alarm has like a 30 second delay before it turns on all the equipment. Little man goes in, turns it off, and they'll go in and they rob the joint. Basically. It's a yearly thing that they do every year. Baby Bob Thornton, on the other hand, wants to uh, go to Miami and open up a new bar of his own. His own bar. And that's about it. But he you know his friend says, oh, you're not going to do that. It's going to be something crazy. And of course, a year later, he calls him back up. We got something in this other state. So let's go and do it. So they go and do it. But this mall is a little bit special. Because Billy Bob Thornton meets this chick from Gilmore Girls. The only reason why I know that. Because my grandma used to watch that show. I can't tell you if that was that girl's sister or mother on that show. But they both look like they were in their later 20s. So probably her sister. Who gives a fuck. But she's kind of cute anyways. But anyway. <laughs> and uh, you also run into John Ritter. And Bernie Mac. Well, I kind of forgot John Ritter was in this movie till I seen him. But John Ritter's a pussy. <laughs> he is a pussy in this movie. Oh my god. And Bernie Mac is the higher up that John Ritter goes to and complains to about stuff. And Bernie Mac knows about what they're doing and he wants a little bit of the cut. Actually, he wants half of the cut. <laughs> so, yes, that is a big ass plot. But when you think about it, it's very small. The way I described it, it's kind of longer, but it's very short if you think about it. But with that aside, yeah. Then you meet this boy that he meets in the mall, kind of a loser, kind of a little in the head, but he's kind of hilarious anyways because he, he doesn't do much, but when he does, it's like, okay. He's kind of growing on me. He's kind of growing on me. And that's what he does to kind of Billy Bob Thornton. He kind of grows on him a little bit. But, you know, Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Just hilarious, man. I, I, I like this version of Billy Bob Thornton 
the best. Okay. I love raunchy comedies. I really do. I, that is my go-to thing. I, I gotta have me a raunchy comedy. And I'm glad that they make raunchy Christmas comedies. Okay. So, yeah. Very, very hilarious stuff. And he's always having sex with women because he's a sex addict. Drunk. Smoker. Bum. Does that all fit into his category? I think it does. I think I got everything down packed. Oh, foul mouth. That's me in the nutshell right there. Because <laughs> I am that way too. And you know what? I ain't taking it back. It's how I am. So, yeah. I, 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 I'm I, just like him on that part. <laughs> so, fuck yeah. Anyways. If you have not seen Bad Santa yet, watch it. Because I love the acting in the movie. The acting is pretty good. Um, it's kind of sad, though, to see John Ritter in it. Since John Ritter would die that very same year that the movie came out. So, yeah. Wow, John Ritter's been dead nearly 12 and a half years. No, 11 and a half years. Nearly 12. Fuck. Fuck me. <clears throat> That's sad. But you know what? He was awesome, though. And so was Bernie Mac. Unfortunately, he would die... Five, six years later, five, six, seven, probably seven years after this movie. Because this movie came out in 2003 and Bernie Mac died in 2009. So, yeah, it's kind of sad to see that both of these people would later die. It's, yeah. But they were good. They were good actors, though. And I really did appreciate their comedy. But, anyways, I'm going to give Bad Santa a B. Plus. This is a very fun, enjoyable movie. And I recommend it to everybody who's a wa who loves raunchy ass comedies, especially Christmas comedies, because you know Christmas can't all be about all oh, the holly and jolly and all that other bullshit. And sometimes you just gotta say fuck Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Bad Sand down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And I'll catch you guys in the next Christmas review.